Okay, and we are back for another recording on another problem. Just got to scroll down to it. Simplify and express the following without negative exponents. So where would you like to start? Um, we'll go ahead and start inside the parentheses, the big parentheses, and we'll work from there. So first off, uh, I see a negative a is squared. So that, that positive squaring turns this into um, just a squared. Right, that you get negative one squared times a squared, and negative one squared is just positive one. Uh, there's nothing to combine on top, there's nothing to combine on bottom, but between the two there are things that are similar. So let's use some of our, our uh, cancellation properties there. Um, I, I'm comparing these values and I see that uh, this negative one, we're going to bring it up. So this is a squared times a to the first. Or the rule is just like this. If you've got um, if you've got x to the uh, x to the c over x to the d, this is equal to x to the c minus d. So this is a squared over a to the negative first, which means we have a to the two minus a negative one, which is two plus one. Uh, there's another rule about going down, um, this is also equal to 1 over x to the d minus c. Okay, So this, this fraction over here would be the same, but going into the denominator, you take the denominator power subtracted by the numerator's power. Uh, we're going to do that for b. So this is 4 times b to the second plus 3. Okay. This is a cubed over 4b to the fifth. And all of this is raised to the negative second power. What does that negative mean? It means the reciprocal of what we've got here. Okay, and then the 2 part means we're going to square that. So let's take the reciprocal of this, and then we'll square that. So this is 4b to the fifth over a cubed squared. And now we'll square everything. So this is 4 squared, which is 16. b to the fifth squared is b to the tenth. And a cubed squared is a to the sixth. Okay, so 16b to the 10th, a to the 6th. There you have it. And that's it for this video. I'll be back for another one uh, on the next one.